everyone. So welcome to today's Investigations Listen. Um, today we're going to be artists, which excites me because most of you know that I really love doing art and I think of myself as an artist and you guys should think of yourself as artists because I know all of you do have done wonderful work at school and you've shown how you guys can be great artists but today we're focusing on being landscape artists which is kind of one of my favorite things to do when I'm doing art. So landscape artists are artists that paint or draw things from a distance with beautiful views with mountains nature anything where you could go outside look at a beautiful view and want to paint it or draw it so one of my favorite things to draw when i'm doing landscape art is a beautiful sunset or sunrise and to be a landscape artist you don't really need to do much you just need to be able to look at something visualize it from a distance and look carefully at it and see if you can copy what you're looking at. But today, because we're stuck inside, I thought I could show you three simple steps to draw a sunrise and be a landscape artist by just doing these three simple lines. So all you'll need today to do this activity is a piece of paper. Now I've got my sketchbook here, but you don't need a sketchbook. I've also, you can also just get some white plain paper, or if you have a book at home, you could do it in your book. So today what we oh, and the other thing you might need is a texter. I'm using a texter, but I've also got some pencils here that I've been using some pencils. Or if you don't even have a text or a pencil, you could ask mom and dad for a pen. To be an artist, you don't really need much materials. You can use what you have at home. So if you have a pencil, a pen, a gray lead, a texter, use anything you have at home to do this art piece. There's no rules with art. You can use anything you've got at home to be an artist. So I'm going to use this texter first and I'm going to, then I'm going to show you some of the other landscapes that I've been doing. But the only three steps you need to do a sunset or a sunrise are these three steps. So look, listen, look carefully. So I've got my paper here. And the first thing I'm going to draw are my hills. Now, to do your hills, you just start at the edge of the page and you bring, you go, bring the text all the way to the middle of the page. So there's one hill. Now, that doesn't look like much just yet, but trust me, it only takes three simple lines. So that's one hill. And then you're going to grab, start in the middle. And then do another semi, it's kind of like a semicircle to the edge of the page again. So all the way back up. And there we have our two hills. And this is part of our landscape. So it's adding depth to our landscape. So we've got our two hills. And in a second, I'm about to draw the sunrise or sunset. It's up to you. And you can create whatever setting you want. So I'm going to do my sun. I think I'm going to do a sunrise. So now I have my two hills and my sun rise or sunset. So a sun rises when the sun comes up in the morning and a sunset is when it comes down. Usually when the sun comes up in the morning, the sun is really like a yellow, bright, um, like a white color. And then when the sun is going down at night, it's a more of an orangey, reddish kind of color in the sky. So you could choose what you want to color your sunset or sunrise in. So see how I've just done three simple lines and that has shown depth in my picture to show how I've got my setting. So I'm going to quickly show you. So that is the three simple steps. So two hills and a sun to show your settings. Now I'm going to show you how I've used coloring pencils to um, make this sunset and sunrise look really like a true landscape. So this one I've done, I've colored the, the hills in green and I've done a blue sky and I've done a yellow sun. So I've kind of done a morning sunrise. So can you see how just from those three simple lines of the hills and a line uh, around across for the sun, you can see that I've got my sunrise setting here and I've colored that in with green for the hills and I've done the sky blue and I've done my sun yellow. So you can see just from those three simple lines, I've created a sunset landscape. The next one I've done at home for you is a beach one, which is my personal favorite. I love going to the beach and just sitting on the beach all day, watching the sun go down. So I'm gonna show you this one. And it's again, it's just those three simple lines and the sun going over. So here I've done the line for the sand, the two lines, the semicircles, then I've done 
my waterline on top and then I've done my sunrise on top and you can see that really 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 carefully I've done that and I've colored it in the last one I did was a sun another sunset but in like a desert environment with some trees so there's no rules with your picture you are able to create this picture by just your three lines you can do a playground on the side if you want and you can do hills on a playground with the sunrise and you playing with your family. You can add in flowers to your sunset or sunrise. You can do like some beautiful green hills in the country with some beautiful flowers and trees. There are no rules with this landscape picture that you're going to create. So I, the, the task for today for investigations is you're going to be an artist. You're going to create a landscape sunset or sunrise but make it your own. You are your own artist. You can add any colors you want. There are no rules to art. Just today, we're going to say, use those three lines, be creative as possible, and come up with your own design of a sunset or sunrise. I'm really looking forward to seeing your pictures, and I'm mostly excited because I know that we've got um, Spotlight at the moment, a Spotlight student, and I'm going to be looking at all your art pieces and choosing a Spotlight student for this week to share it in, in the newsletter for Joe. So everyone, try your best to do a landscape drawing just like this. Remember, all you need is three lines. One semicircle, another semicircle, and the sun semicircle in the middle. And from this, you can create a masterpiece. Can't wait to see them. Good luck, guys.